Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we are in statics and we're going to be solving problem 1.3. It says, represent each of the following combinations of units in the correct SI form. And then we got problem A, B, and C. Okay, so basically the way that we're going to solve this is the same, this is basically the same problem as, as 1.2, which I'm going to link the video up so you can uh, down below so you can uh, also help yourself with it. But basically what we're doing is utilizing this table, table 1.3. And we're going to look into these prefixes and then we're going to equal, equal them to their exponential form. And at the end, we're going to change from our exponential form back to our prefix. And you will see how we can simplify to their correct form as they are stated in the problem. So let's start with problem A. So... We got a megagram over millisecond. And if I do this really quick, so mega becomes 10 to the positive 6, so we got grams. And then uh, the milliseconds is 10 to the negative 3. In seconds. And then we're, if we simplify this fraction in here, basically what we have is 10 to the positive 9 grams per second and if we go back into our prefix well 10 to the 9 is a giga so we're going to write it as a giga gram per second okay and just like that we found the solution for our problem a i'm going to go ahead with problem b we have newton over millimeter and then the newton doesn't have a prefix so it says as newton over the milli meter so the milli is 10 to the negative 3 then meters now in order to simplify this we move this 10 to the negative 3 above but then because we're moving it that becomes a positive newton over meter okay and finally we go back and put in our prefix form and that becomes a kilo newton per meter and that will be the solution for problem b so we're gonna go ahead and do problem C. We got a millinewton over a kilogram times a microsecond. Okay, so for a millinewton, we got 10 to the negative three, so a newton over kilogram. Now notice that I'm leaving the kilogram as kilogram. Kilogram, sometimes we like to leave them as kilogram as the base unit. Uh, the micro becomes 10 to the negative six and then seconds, and then when we do the addition of these two, it becomes 10 to the positive three on top, Newton over kilogram times second. And again, we're gonna put it back into our prefix form. 10 to the positive three is a kilo, so we got a kilo Newton over kilogram times second. Just like that, we found the solution for our problem C as well. So I hope you guys like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.